a distraction showed up on my doorstep this morning. Uh, good morning YouTube on a um, Monday morning 11 17 now in the morning um, this here is why I don't get things done uh, I kind of actually forgot about this a little bit but FedEx dropped it off this morning and um, I want to show you what it is let me get it unboxed all right, now you see the uh, radio in front of you. This is a Realistic DX160. Um, probably in its purest form. <laughs> uh, I saw this on... Uh, I've been... I had a search on uh, eBay for this radio for a while. Actually, we can blame John from Arkansas. Joe R. Nunn. For this purchase. He uh, showed his one day, and I, I thought, man, that does look like a kind of neat little communications receiver. And I started to search for it on eBay, and I wanted to find one at a decent price. Well, of course, you know how that works. They uh, basically don't exist at decent prices. Um, but this one popped up, and it is a working, fully working chassis. Uh, it doesn't have the cabinet or the speaker, obviously. And uh, so I thought, well, you know, this would be kind of neat. It does work. It's supposed to, you know, it's supposed to work well. Uh, so my thought was I can either find a non-working one that I can get a cabinet from or basically, you know, do two into one type thing. And uh, uh, that's my thought on it. So, you know, that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, no guarantees that I'll get it done. And there's also uh, a possibility that I could just build a cabinet for it. I mean, you know, it's not a big deal. I think you can find the faceplates for them. Uh, so, you know, may do that. I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to uh, start this up at the moment. But I will do a, uh, a test of it. it. Like I said, it is supposed to be working. It is solid state, so it's not... Uh, let's take a look at the back here. Or I should say the the guts of it. Um, it's like I say, it it should be uh, able to be started up with no problems. Got a couple of uh, little things here. I'm just looking at over here. But uh, I have the uh, service information. It does have a fuse in the back, which is nice. Uh, I don't know which one of these is a speaker, but this may be. I don't know. Don't really know. Like I said, I, I'm completely new to this. I uh, just saw John's and I thought, well, you know, I kind of like to have one of those. And now I have one. <laughs> like I said, in its purest, purest form. It doesn't even have a bottom on it. Um, that's another thing that uh, I'd have to make, I guess. But, like I said, it's it's uh, this here headphone jack probably needs to be... I noticed when, when I got this out, this fell out, and I think it was sitting on this uh, headphone jack trying to kind of hold it in. Uh, it doesn't actually fit that nut or that, uh, uh, what do you call it, but it kind of does. And I'm thinking maybe that's what he had stuck on there to hold that jack in. But uh, it's not a big deal one way or the other. It just takes a nut, that's all it takes. So there's no big deal there. Now there's a control here that's uh, obviously not in place. I think it goes here. I think. I'm not even sure of that. I'm trying to get it away from that tuning string because we know how we don't like to uh, put new tuning strings on. But it looks sure like there's a hole right there and uh, that would be a good place for it. So I'm going to try to uh, get that line back up and uh, away from the, uh, what do you call it, if I can. Keep putting too much pressure on that and I'm going to mess something up for sure. 
I can get it past that, maybe I can get it out here where it's supposed to be. Something else is holding that, I think. It doesn't seem like it's, uh, it's got too, too short of a, what do you call it there, a reach or something. Maybe that's wrapped around something it's not supposed to be. I'll have to get a closer look at it and find out what the problem is with it. But uh, that can be easily worked on. Anyway, that's uh, what I'm doing this morning. I thought I would share this with you, but this is why I don't get things done. Um, something like this shows up on my front porch. <laughs> you know, I have to look at it. I can't just leave it sit there. So, <laughs> anyway, that's uh, a look at the uh, DX160 uh, communications receiver. Solid state. And uh, that's a... I'll be a wrap for this one, so you guys uh, have a pleasant day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see ya.